Well, this week and next, students return to classrooms in many Northeast Wisconsin school districts, but there's also the chance that they're taking germs along with them. Here's Local 5's Timothy Lato on the increase in COVID-19 cases across the state and the latest on the vaccine. Just in time to coincide with the start of the school year, COVID-19 is at its highest levels across the state since February, according to Wisconsin Department of Health Services wastewater data. It's definitely something to monitor, and we do get reports from our state partners on a regular basis. De Pere, Manitowoc, and Peshtigo are the northeast Wisconsin communities with the highest levels of COVID-19 wastewater presence and still seeing significant increases. Appleton and Oshkosh have also seen very high levels or significant increases recently. Hopefully our new vaccine coming out in the not uh, too distant future, I know it's been approved, we're just waiting on shipments, uh, will help as that does match the current version that is going around in our community. Here at Smith Pharmacy, they're expecting 400 of the new FDA approved COVID-19 vaccine from Pfizer in the next two weeks but they're not sure yet what the demand will be like for it. We have no idea on the demand. Um, we've seen crazy demands in 2022. We were doing 200 doses in a day. Um, and now we do weekly injections, so we do it every Tuesday. Some weeks, Smith Pharmacy staff only administer a handful of COVID-19 vaccinations. But Smith says that this latest one is important to get as it targets the most current strain of the virus. The new vaccine is a monovalent vaccine. Um, it's, uh, you know, the, it's basically going to go after the Omicron, the new variant, which is JN1. In Little Shoot, Timothy Lato, Local 5 News. The latest guidance from the CDC says that in order for someone infected with COVID-19 to end their quarantine period, they must be fever and symptom-free for 24 hours without the use of fever-reducing medication.